Hello fellow subscribers, what's up? It's me Webs from Slider here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about making something rotation proof. You heard about fireproof, you heard about waterproof. This is what I call rotation proof async task which I'm gonna show in this video. In other words, we have been discussing about a problem since the last several videos if you guys remember. You have an activity, you have an async task. You start your async task from your activity, let's say when the user clicks a button. Now, the async task keeps, keeps updating the progress bar on the activity, but when you rotate the screen, the activity is destroyed, a new activity is created. The async task has no idea that this happened. It continues to update the progress bar, which is actually the old instance contained from the old activity. In other words, you rotate the screen, the progress bar just disappears, you don't see it. So in the previous video, we talked about a dumb solution for this, and that was to restrict the user from rotating the activity screen when the task is running. Now of course you remember how dumb that was if you have seen the last video but here in this video let's talk about the real stuff. Before we begin anything two things if you haven't seen the fragment videos on my channel the fragment playlist or if you haven't seen the previous videos on async tasks and threads and handlers please don't watch this video because this is a complex one and it relies on all those things that I've discussed in both the fragments playlist and inside my threading and other stuff which I currently discussed in my previous videos. So let's begin. So there's my my task here. It's on pre-execute. I just removed that screen locking code that I wrote here. The doing background is as usual here. And then, then there's the on post execute which again has the soft stuff removed inside. You notice here in the on progress update what happens is the progress bar which is download images progress dot set progress I'm just calling that. And this is the old reference the icing task has no idea if the activity was destroyed or recreated. So how can we solve this problem? The idea is very simple. We are going to create a fragment. This fragment is going to do all the work of managing the async task. Now one very important thing, this fragment doesn't get destroyed. So before we ob observe and work out a fragment which doesn't get destroyed, let's take a look at what happens in a normal fragment. So I have created that fragment here called non UI task fragment. So all the lifecycle methods are listed here on attach, on create, on create view. Of course, I don't need anything to return inside my on create view. I can just return a null over here. There's on activity created, start, resume, pause, stop, save instance state, state restore, destroy view, destroy and detach. So all of them are being logged out by saying l.m. You guys remember my class l.java, right? It has a static method m over here, takes a message and makes log.d and lives and message over there. So now let's take a look at running this inside our main activity. Now what I want to do is add that fragment here inside my main activity. How do I do that? So inside my on create of my main activity, what I'm going to do is go here at the bottom. I want to do one thing. I want to add this fragment only if it's not been added before. So in other words, you're going to check if the activity is starting for the first time. If you remember when saved instance state is null, it means your activity is starting for the first time. Otherwise, it means that your activity is starting for the subsequent time. So for the first time, what we want to do is create the reference that is initialize the object by saying new non UI task fragment here. Now we want to add this fragment to our activity. That is very simple. You can call your fragment manager by saying get support fragment manager or begin transaction that is start a fragment transaction add your fragment just pass the object that you want to add which is fragment pass a string value by which you can refer to it later that's called task fragment in our case and then call the commit method otherwise the transaction won't complete now the first time when saved instance state is null create the fragment add it to our activity that's what we are doing here otherwise it's the subsequent time which means the activity was already started before you rotated the screen and that's why you're inside the else condition right now. Here you don't want to initialize the fragment rather what you want to do is you want to say fragment equals to get support fragment manager and you simply find the fragment by saying find fragment by tag. Now, If you remember at the top for the first time when we added the fragment we gave it the tag which was called task fragment. Here you're going to use the same tag and we're going to find it over here. Now of course we need to typecast this and that pretty much takes care of that. So very simple. Subsequent time, don't create it, simply find it, whatever is there already, 
first time create it and add it with a specific name that's the basic idea behind this now let's run this and let me show you something interesting so as soon as I start running you notice there is these calls inside my log.d where it's on attached create create view activity created start resume now if I rotate the screen what's gonna happen is more calls are gonna be there there's gonna be on pause save instance state stop destroy view destroy detach and again it's gonna attach create create view activity created start resume now in other words what is happening here basically is that the fragment object was first created as you turn the screen it got destroyed as you can see there's on destroy being called over here and then there's on create being called a second time and it gets created again which means the fragment is working just like the activity it gets destroyed when the screen is rotated and recreated before it is being shown to the user now what we want is the fragment should not get destroyed now why would we do this this is the main idea right because you want to have the async task inside this fragment and what we want to do is make the fragment indestructible or undestructible whatever I forgot English right now so now let's take a look at how we can do that so go here inside your non UI task fragment now we are gonna add one little piece of code inside your own activity created here we are gonna go and say set retain instance true now this means that don't destroy the fragment careful now no notice carefully in the life cycle here there is on create which is called first it's called second there's on destroy which is called over here now these methods won't be called when your fragment is indestructible or undestructible whatever so let's take a look at this by again running this code and seeing what happens so as I start my activity let me rotate the screen as you guys notice my fragment has on pause on save instance state stop destroy view but notice carefully on destroy has not been called rather on detach is called on attach is called and on create has not been called for the second time in other words the first time the fragment is actually initiated on create gets called but subsequently on create doesn't get called if I again rotate the screen in front of you there's on pause save and state stop destroy view there is no sign of on destroy and neither is there a sign of on create in the subsequent time and that's exactly what your set retain instance in a fragment does so now that you have seen this I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use this fragment which is our indestructible slash undestructible fragment to make our async task in the next video in the meantime if you guys do like what you see please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day